Hello everyone. Cats are fascinating animals and wonderful companions. But just like humans, they are also susceptible to committing deadly sins. These behaviors may be funny or even seem harmless. But they can have a significant impact on the lives of our feline friends. It is important to recognize and correct these behaviors to ensure the health and well-being of our cats. If you enjoyed this content and want to receive more tips and information on how to take care of your cats, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any new videos. Share this video with your friends who also have cats and help spread this important information to more people. Also, if you like the video, leave your like and comment below about your experiences with your cats and how you deal with these behaviors. Your contributions are very valuable and help us create better content for you. Let's get to what matters. The 7 deadly sins of cats are behaviors that many cat owners may recognize in their own pets. These behaviors include gluttony, sloth, lust, envy, wrath, greed, and pride. Each of these behaviors can affect the health and happiness of our cats in different ways. It is important to understand that these behaviors do not make cats bad or guilty. They are natural behaviors that are part of each cat's personality. However, as responsible owners, it is our responsibility to help our cats overcome these behaviors and live happy and healthy lives. So let's find out more about these 7 deadly sins of cats and how we can help our feline friends overcome them. 1. Gluttony Gluttony is one of the most common sins in cats and can lead to a range of health problems, including obesity, diabetes, heart and liver issues. It's important to remember that cats have a natural tendency to overeat and can easily become overweight if they don't have a balanced diet and adequate exercise routine. One way to ensure that your cat is eating the appropriate amount of food is to follow the dosing instructions recommended by the manufacturer of their food. Additionally, monitor the amount of treats and snacks you give to your cat. Be sure to choose healthy and quality treats, and only give them as an occasional reward instead of a daily routine. It's also important to remember that your cat's age, weight, activity level, and health can affect their nutritional needs. Consult with a veterinarian for guidance on the appropriate diet for your cat and the amount of food they should receive daily. Finally, a good exercise routine can help prevent obesity and keep your cat healthy and happy. Regular play and physical activities, such as interactive toys and chase games, can help stimulate the cat to move and burn calories. Remember that a healthy cat is a happy cat, so keep an eye out for signs of overweight and make necessary adjustments to their diet and exercise routine to ensure your feline friend is always in good shape. 2. Laziness Laziness is one of the most common behaviors in cats and is often mistaken for their calm and peaceful nature. However, as you mentioned, lack of exercise can lead to health problems such as obesity, which is one of the most common diseases in cats due to lack of physical activity. To help prevent excessive laziness in our cats, it's important to create a stimulating and fun environment for them. We can offer interactive toys, scratchers, tunnels, and even play ball with them. The important thing is to get our cats moving and have moments of activity throughout the day. A tip is to play with your cat early in the morning or before bedtime, when they tend to be more active. Additionally, if you work outside the home and don't have much time to play with your cat during the day, you can leave some toys around the house for them to play with on their own. Remember that cats are nocturnal animals, so it's normal for them to be more active at night. A good option is to leave some toys and activities for your cat to enjoy at night, without disrupting your sleep with a little effort and dedication. We can help our cats be more active and healthy. While ensuring moments of fun and interaction between us and our feline friends. 3. Lust Lust is one of the seven deadly sins of cats and refers to their sexually active nature. Unneutered male cats have a strong instinct to mark territory with urine and can become more aggressive towards other cats or animals, as well as have a higher tendency to run away from home in search of mates. 
Unneutered female cats can also become more aggressive when in heat and may have health complications if they are not regularly bred. In addition, the failure to neuter cats contributes to the overpopulation of stray cats. As many abandoned cats on the streets are the result of unwanted breeding. This can lead to health and welfare problems for these animals and also impacts the environment. Therefore, it is important to neuter both male and female cats. Neutering is a simple and safe surgical procedure that can help control the cat's sexual behavior, reduce the risk of certain types of cancer and other diseases, as well as help control the overpopulation of stray cats. It is important to consult with a veterinarian to better understand the options and benefits of neutering and make the best decision for your cat and the community. For anger, understanding aggressive behavior in cats is crucial to avoid injuries to humans and other pets, as well as to ensure the cat's well-being. It is important to note that aggression can be a sign that the cat feels threatened or stressed. Identifying the trigger for aggression is the key to dealing with this behavior. Cats can exhibit different types of aggression, including territorial aggression, redirected aggression, and fear aggression. Territorial aggression occurs when a cat defends its home or personal space. Redirected aggression can occur when the cat becomes frustrated or frightened in a situation and ends up attacking another person or animal that is nearby. Fear aggression can occur when a cat feels threatened by something or someone and reacts aggressively to defend itself. If the cat shows excessive or inappropriate aggression, it is important to seek help from an animal behavior specialist or veterinarian. In some cases, medication or behavioral therapies may be necessary to help control aggression and improve the quality of life for the cat and its guardians. 5. Breed In addition to ensuring that each cat has its own space and toys, it is important to observe the behavior of our feline friends to identify signs of possessiveness and aggression. For example, if a cat becomes aggressive or defensive when another cat approaches its toys or bed, it may be necessary to establish clear boundaries for each of the cats and offer more space and toys to reduce stress and conflicts. It is also important to ensure that the environment in which the cats live is enriching and offers opportunities for them to explore and have fun. This includes providing scratchers, towers, shelves, and other items that allow cats to exercise and express their natural behaviors. This way, cats can have a healthier and happier environment. Reducing greed and other unwanted behaviors. 6. Envy. It is a common behavior among cats and can arise in various ways. For example, a cat may become jealous when their owner is giving more attention to another cat or even another pet. This can lead to aggressive or destructive behaviors, such as scratching furniture, urinating outside of the litter box, or attacking the other animal. To avoid this behavior, it is important to give each cat their due attention and affection. Make sure to interact with each cat individually and offer toys and activities that can be enjoyed individually. Additionally, it is important to avoid comparing or favoring one over the other such as giving more food to one cat than the other or allowing one to sleep in a more comfortable location. 7. Pride It is a behavior that can be easily identified in cats, as they are quite independent and proud animals. However, this pride can be a problem when it comes to training or educating a cat. Proud cats can be stubborn and difficult to handle, which can lead to behavioral problems if not properly addressed. It is important to remember that, although cats are independent animals, they still need guidance and training to behave properly. One of the best ways to train a cat is to use positive reinforcement, such as treats or praise, to reward desired behaviors. This helps create a positive association between the behavior and the reward, encouraging the cat to continue to behave properly. However, it is important to remember that cats have unique personalities and may take longer to adapt to new routines or rules. It is important to have patience and persistence when training a proud cat. And always remember that they deserve respect and love, even when behaving badly.
if the behavior of envy persists and becomes aggressive or destructive. It is important to consult a veterinarian or an animal behavior specialist to help identify the cause and find solutions to the problem. In conclusion, although cats are fascinating and wonderful companions, they are also susceptible to committing the seven deadly sins just like humans. These behaviors may seem harmless, but they can have a significant impact on the health and well-being of our feline friends. As responsible pet owners, it is our responsibility to recognize and correct these behaviors to ensure the best possible life for our cats. Each of these behaviors can affect the health and happiness of our cats in different ways, and it is important to understand that these behaviors are natural and not indicative of a bad or guilty cat. With proper nutrition, exercise, and stimulation, we can help our cats overcome these behaviors and live a happy and healthy life. If your feline exhibits any of these behaviors, leave a comment below, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Share this video with other cat owners. And leave a like if this video helps you in any way. Until the next video.